Today we have brought. What's up? Can I see the camera rolling right now? I'm gonna put this in the video so that everybody knows your purpose is trying to mess me up. Today we've got some two really good Ebonite bowling balls that I feel everybody should have in their bag. Unless you disagree with me, then fine, don't have them. But <laughs> anyways, I think these balls are amazing. There's the Resurgence and the GB3. If I'm correct about this, I'm pretty sure they're discontinued, so it may be kind of hard to find, but I think they're one, two of the best Ebonite and Columbia balls that have come out in a long time, and really hoping that the Magnificent 7 will recreate them or at least use their cores still. So, the Resurgence has a four and a quarter inch pin, which puts it just above my ring finger. What kind of reaction does this give me? A very smooth and easy transition. It allows me to throw it on short, medium, and long patterns when either I need it to hook where with the carry down down lane, it's still clean enough in the front part of the lane, but strong enough to hook down down lane. Also, it's really good for keeping your angles a little straighter and just generally using it as one of your first balls out of the bag when you're looking for control. The GB3 is a pretty different kind of piece of equipment. It allows you to really hook the ball in a substantial amount of oil. It is not necessarily something you can start out with, but for me, it's something that I can go to after the resurgence or when the lanes start to transition a little bit. It's clean, it's strong, it hits the pins really well. Uh, most of the time I've used it, it's been on medium and long patterns when I've had to transition very far left and open my angles up and when I need something that's really gonna hook down lane for me. So this one's about a four and a half inch pin from my uh, PAP. So I'm gonna take them out of the lanes and we're gonna show you the difference between them and I'll give you a little recap of what you guys saw. As you can see, the resurgence was much, much more hook in the front part of the lane. It stayed smooth down lane, whereas the GB3 was a little bit cleaner, but still read the mid lane fairly strong. And it kept its shape. It wasn't too jumpy in the back part of the lane, which is nice because when you get in the later blocks and it becomes very wet dry, it's, it keeps a very smooth reaction instead of the shots where you miss a little bit and it doesn't hook enough, or you miss a little to the right and it just boomerangs too much. So. Like I said, I think these two balls are pretty good. I think everybody should have them in their bag. Uh, they're from the Ebonite International family that are now the Magnificent Seven, I believe. So if you can find them, go ahead, get them in your bag. I think they're amazing. Contact me if you want some help with drilling instructions. I've thrown them for a little while now. If you like the video, like and subscribe. If you want to see more stuff, keep watching. If you got some other ideas you want to see with some other random bowling balls that may be discontinued, I got a lot of them. So. Let me know.